At last, my destiny approaches. Chameleon is a very interesting character to me. We knew we wanted to bring the supernatural element into it, so we came up with someone that's a shapeshifter. The master of deception, the lizard of lies. So because she has this anger that's been built up from always being invisible to everyone else, her transformation process actually reflects her anger. Chameleon transformed, but not in a beautiful, flowing way, but almost like it was breaking bones. One arm would grow faster than the other and bigger than the other. One eye would go really big and the other one would still be small. So it had this really creepy feel. Skadoosh. So in order to do that, we had to create a rig, basically the CG puppet, with enough controls to move every single piece and scale it. Chameleon had 8,130 controls. You could move every single part of that character, even like the dress, all the flaps on the dress, everything was animatable. What was that now? Our animation team have done an outstanding job of taking the idea of a shape-shifting character and bringing something really new and scary to it. That is awesome! Well, we're inheriting a world of animals, and we notice that the designs of the children bunnies, they're just adorable with their little ears and their great big eyes. Now you kids, be careful with those fireworks. And we thought, how great would it be if these things were terrifying, (laughs) monstrous? They don't have any social or emotional inhibitors. So when they get angry, they take it out on whoever is around them. Violence makes my tummy tingle. There's a real richness to this world, and it's just massive in scale. Welcome to Juniper City. Poe is coming to the big city for the first time ever. And so what Paul, our production designer, created essentially New York Times Square in an ancient fantasy China world. Come on! I wanted Poe to be, you know, country mouse in the massive metropolis. This city is the most amazing place I've ever seen! It was stunning to see Juniper City at first because it wasn't just beautiful and vast, but it was real. It was so tactile, and all the surfaces were so realistic, and all the designs were so specific to a big city filled with animals. We really wanted to have that feel of just a throng of crowds, and I think it's partly because of the different scale ratio. There's more animals than you've ever seen. Rhinos, goats, sheep, boar, pigs, goats, crocodiles, bears, oh my.